hello guys welcome to the second tutorial of designing forms so in the previous tutorial I have shown you how to design a form which is this I have shown so this is very simple I have added a close button here and the close button here also and the submit this is a simple form without any which is not connected to any database or anything so sorry for the previous tutorial I haven't added any audio to it it was a simple non voice uh, tutorial but uh, how to design this form i have i'll give that i'll give a link of the description i'll give the link in the description how i have designed this so in the next tutorial we'll add some image here and we'll do certain changes with the forms and have some different look for this and we'll change some colors so till this part i have created a tutorial and as well i have saved at the source code of this and added to my uh, channel so you can download the video uh, this video related uh, source code in the description and uh, now we'll do some changes and I'll go add some image here so before that we'll just go and we'll just check the source code here so I haven't done anything great here this is just simply a JFrame so to remove the border I have simply written a line of code saying that set undecorated true this removes the frame minimize maximize and close button close border from the panel which means you can see on the top this minimize maximum and close by default when you create a J frame in Sphinx it has the frame covered with it so I have written the line of code and removed it that was shown in the first tutorial now we'll add some image so I'll give it a quick tutorial so I have created a frame and I have added one label here you can see to the left this is the label they will label I have added one more label which is close and I have given some action performs to this mouseless action perform and I have given this to a hand cursor and these are also labels you can see these are the two labels which I have given a button emboss look and look for this you can see it clearly and how I have done this on the underlined borders for a text field you can see in the previous tutorial now now we will do some certain changes to this so I'll click on it and I'll change some color to this um, just go with uh, blue yeah it's blue now I'll go some dark if possible uh, this will be okay I think so no the previous one is okay yeah I like this color now this is okay it's already bonded so i'll just change the border color of this also to the same color not sorry okay foreground is okay and the matte border what is the matte border where did it go yeah it's here so click on the matte border make this all zeros and just make the one here make it two and just pick the color and just press ok now you can see this all are same now I'll add some image here for to add images in this I mostly go for the flat icon which I have already opened and I was searching for some horse images so this looks so which one so this looks okay for me so I'll just click on this and click on the PNG file and I'll go for 128 size so before that I'll just select some custom color for this I think this is okay okay a little bit more light I think it's good mm, yeah now it's okay this by default this gets saved in PNG format so when I click on PNG this becomes a transferable image and I'll just click on PNG click on 128 and free download so there are some restrictions to use this in your real-time applications you have to go with the license agreements for flat icon this is just a tutorial I'm creating so I know need to all those things so I'll just rename it I'll make it horse so we must add this horse to our project copy and I'll just open my project and I'll paste it in the images so 
sorry one second yeah so i'll just paste it in my images paste i think okay cannot import image the source and destination are the same oh what have i done copy paste yeah it has come so how to add images i have shown but i'll show you one more time so click on this go for the icon class path this this i just select some java cup so you get a source here so just remove this thing which i have created with this okay i'm just removing the text you can see this is center aligned here make sure it's center aligned now i'll go click on this go to source and i'll just remove this just leaving one forward slash so this is backward slash right this is backward slash and here i'll just type horse because we have the horse by default the images is created with the uh, within the source folder so this is horse dot png we'll just check it whether it's added or not my god this is looking awesome <laughs> so i'll just run it we'll see how it looks like mm, that's awesome yeah so this is how we can create i think we'll add some logo name i just want to make some name for this i'll just move it to some top and i'll just add some name like uh, s p e c c a so we have have some problem with keyboard spec something like that <laughs> i don't even know what the uh, okay and just click make 25 yeah i'll just make it center i'll try to make it italic but uh, we'll see which font looks more better mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hope so yeah so i'll just change the foreground color to white so foreground color to white yeah <laughs> my goodness this is looking too good <laughs> so this looks fine now so a simple registration form which is so beautiful now yeah so this is it and then later tutorial we'll create a login page and we'll go on thank you so if you like it don't forget to like and share this video and let your friends know we can create so beautiful frames in swings or windows builder so thank you guys thank you very much